I do for you guys. So we've got our lovely model Biscuit here today who's going to be giving us a hand. As you can see we've got our muzzle on for health and safety. As I've said before you can take a muzzle back off but you can't take a bite back off. So give us, give us a wee hand here today boy. Now I've got a collar lead on him here. I've got my hand through the loop of the lead. It leaves my hands free to use. And then as well, just to keep him comfortable, I've got him standing here between my legs, as you see, and I've got my knees right behind, just under his shoulder blades here. So if he goes backwards, he's going nowhere. I'm holding him quite firmly, but it's not uncomfortable for him. So we'll go ahead and get started. So first of all, I've got a torch here and my nail clippers for today's equipment. And the first thing I'm going to do is, as he's got black nails, I'm just going to hold him here, put the foot just lightly in my hand like this, I'm holding it, and I'm using my fingers to hold the toes firmly to make sure I can get a good grip of what I'm working on. And then I'm just going to wipe the dirt off here. I'm going to take my torch, and then I know you can't really see it very well in the video, guys, but I can see it well enough here. I'm just taking my torch and putting it just at the tip of the nail there and shining it and that's allowing me to see where the quick is. So I've already done this on Biscuit and I know for all this quick are but if you were doing this on your own dogs at home you would go around and do all the toes and then that would tell you where you would and if at any point you weren't sure you can always pick your torch back up and go again. So we'll get our nail clippers here. A couple of quick points as well is you can always take off more next time. Don't worry if your dog's not used to it you can do a little bit each time, slowly get them used to it, even just things like stroking them with the clippers, giving them treats, making it a positive experience. Now, Biscuit can be a bit of a screamer, it can be a bit of a drama queen, typical greyhound screamer of teeth, but we'll be absolutely fine today, won't we son? And the main thing to do as well is to always reassure your dog, let them know that it's absolutely fine, don't give them the, oh baby, it's going to be okay response, let them know that it's absolutely fine and that you're going to support them and it will be absolutely okay. So here we go Biscuit Boy. Right, so we're going to be using today, you can see how long his nails are here. Just give my hands a wee wipe, sorry son. Is we're going to be using the alternative cut line today. So that means we're going you to be You can also put their foot against the inside of your foot for added support. And what that'll do is that'll help the quick slowly reduce and that'll allow us to get his nails back a little bit shorter. So we're just going to start here like this and again you can either just take off a little bit like this or take a little bit more, whatever you feel comfortable doing and you can work up to more next time, that's not a problem. Good boy and again as you can see for each toe I'm just holding it just between my fingers here and that allows me to have a firm grip so that I know that he's not going anywhere. Good boy, well done biscuit. And a little bit less off this one as a quick just further down and don't forget your dew claw guys. And for the dew claw, this is a particular way I like to clip them as I like to clip them from both sides like this just take a little bit more off and as you can see a little bit longer to get the angle I want here but don't worry about taking your time guys it makes all the difference in getting the right cut there you go good boy biscuit and then our other toe here good boy good boy yes son it's gonna be just it good boy And where you hold on your clippers is also quite important. If you hold slightly further down here, you'll get a much better purchase on clipping your nail. Good boy. Good boy. And then again, our little dew claw here. Good boy. Good boy, biscuit. I'm going to turn around and show you how I hold them to clip back nails. Right, come on, son. Good boy. Now, for this bit here, I've got my knee here, just in the groove of his side there, and I'm putting him against me there, like that, so he's against me. He's got the body contact, which also gives him that reassurance. And then I'm standing here again, just having his back leg between my Good boy. Lifting him up, and then I'm using the hawk to pick up his foot. Holding his toes again here, so you can see it's quite comfortably supported and it's quite a natural angle for his feet. So be aware when you're cutting them guys, the kind of position you're putting your dog in and how comfortable or not it is for them. Good boy. And again, you can see here, if I show you here, this is one of his white nails. So you can actually see how far the quick is down on there. So for this one, you wouldn't need a torch, but you can still use a torch if you want. 
totally okay to use that and just get a second look at the nails. So again, we're going to go with our alternative cut line here. Good boy, Biscuit, come on. You can see, good boy. He's not the best impressed about this, but we're just reassuring him. Come on, Biscuit, good boy. And just because he's upset or if he does scream, we're just going to continue, but let him know it's okay and we're going to reward him at the end. But a complete reassurance, good boy. Come on, Sunshine. We're all right. And you can see here, this one clicks down a little bit more. So this is one we're just going to take a little bit off today and slowly as he walks, that'll wear that bit there naturally from our cut line. Oi, 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 come on, good boy. And again, that's not sore. It's just a typical greyhound drama queen. See, you can absolutely see I'm touching the whole nail and he's fine, but we're just being a drama queen there. So again, if they scream like that, don't worry, just tell them they're going to be okay. So I've cut that bit there and as he walks, that bit there will wear back down. And then if we're doing this nail here, this is how I like to do them, so I'm not moving his foot too much, good boy. I just bring this one through here, good boy, son. And I'm just going to do this quite quickly as he's starting to have had enough. But thank you for your help, Biscuit. Good boy, come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. There. And again, we'll take a little bit more off them in a few days' time when they're absolutely fine. You can also put their foot on the inside of your foot for added support. Yeah, another thing to show you today, guys, if you have a look at his nails here, you can actually see the nail goes a lot further back than it looks like with his little fluff there. So if I extend his toe there, I'll give you a little side on view for me, thanks. Yep. So if I do like this and just let it retract, if I extend that there and just pull this back here, you can see, excuse the dodgy nail for us, guys. You can see just how long his nail actually is. Right, okay, fine. Right, we're just showing the nail clippers that I'm using today, guys. Uh, this is my favourite brand of nail clippers. Uh, my pair that I've got here are in your set but the other set I do have are about 15 years old so they're very durable very long wearing absolutely great I've never had to resharpen them in this time so I do really really recommend the brand it's a brand I've been using for years uh, I'll show you here they've got a little catch which just keeps them shut to use them you can just squeeze in gently and pull back the catch they do have a little nail guard that you can use here to help you decide how much you'd like to take off your dog's nails Personally, I don't use that. That's just a personal preference for me, but for a lot of people, they would find this quite easy. Nice spring there. Very strong, durable handle. Uh, we have these in our shop. As I said, huge fan of the brand. They come in small and large sizes, ideal for the dogs. They've also got an accompanying nail file that you can use as well. Ideal if you're not yet confident with the clippers to help build up your nail confidence. But I have to say, these are a must have for anybody that is grooming dogs. I know a lot of people are a fan of Dremels. Not a personal fan myself. This is what I would opt for, but if a Dremel is what you would like to use, then go ahead. I'll maybe get a friend who's more advanced at Dremels than I am to put up a little Dremel video. But definitely recommend these clippers. So just give you a little look here, guys. Lovely black and red colour. Again, very sturdy and absolutely great. They've been heat treated for extra strength, and that allows you to give you that one simple cut on your dog's nails. Smooth action, easy done. So keeping minimal stress for your dog when it's getting its nails cut. As you can see, our lovely biscuit model here has done absolutely fine. Been a fantastic boy today, so thank you for that. I'll upload this video, see how you get on, give him some feedback, guys, and I'll hope to do another one soon and get a bit better at doing the videos. But here's our first attempt, and we hope you all enjoy it. And if you've got any questions about how to cut your dog's nails or would like to book them in for an appointment, do just give us a little message on any of our Facebook page or via our email or at our website, helpahound.co.uk. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Yeah.